Hey everyone, it's Julian from Digital Trends and I'm here with the ZTE Axon M. Uh, it's their new phone and there's like something really cool about this. Uh, it's the fact that this is actually two screens. That's kind of neat. Um, it's a 5.2 inch screen on both and 1080p on both. Uh, but some of the cool things that you can do with this second screen is in these spe special modes that you can access right on the Android navigation bar. Namely, one is being able to mirror your screen and something that they said that you can do for like an example for that would be playing a video and say you want to show your friends the video. Let's get rid of this ad. So if you're showing your friends, you're sitting on a table or like on you know, on a train, you can watch a video at the same time. It's kind of neat, but it's like a real specific use case. Uh, one of the other modes is extended mode, and that basically means you're extending the screen. So for example, if you go to Chrome, let's say digital, you can see that this border is kind of weird here because that's blocking the keyboard a bit. Let's go to Digital Trends and see how that looks on this extended mode. You can see it goes for that, it's still using the mobile um, browser, but you can see that it, it's kind of useful and kind of cool if you're watching a movie video, but one of the cool things that you can do in this mode is that say if you were watching that YouTube video and you go into landscape mode, you can see the video on top here, and at the same time you can scroll through and, you know, listen to watch the comments. But say if you wanted to sort of tweet while watching that video, well, you can do that with a B mode, which basically allows you to watch something or do something while doing another app. And one of the cool things with these gestures that you can do is also flip whatever was on that screen onto this. So let's say, let's go to, let's go to Facebook, for example. I'm not sure if it's set up, but ideally I'd be, you know, using Facebook and then maybe watching that video at the same time. I have no idea what this video is, but... Basically, yeah, you can do two things at once, and it doesn't obviously have to be anything to do with video. You could play a game and, you know, Reddit, or look at your photos, and calendar and email would be a popular one. So that's that, and one of the other modes, I think the final mode, I think we showed mirror, extension, dual mirror, uh, or dual, dual AB, and the other mode is basically single screen which basically lets you just use this one. So again, it's a 1080p screen, 5.2 inches on both. Uh, it's run by Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 with four gigs of RAM and has 64 gigs of internal storage. The power button is over here and it has an integrated fingerprint sensor. Uh, this is sort of a quick launch button uh, that you can use to go into a specific mode or launch a certain app. You got the SIM card here and micro SD card and volume rocker. Um, so that's kind of it with the Axon M. Uh, again, one of the things we should also mention before I forget is the camera. There's only one, as you can see on the back. There's nothing really here. Uh, the single camera here is 20, meg 20 megapixel and you can use it. So basically when you are, when you launch it for the first time, hello, um, this is selfie mode. And say, if you want to do rear mode, you're actually just flipping the phone and now using that as a camera and basically you can, so you, every time basically you wanna use selfie or portrait, you're not actually using a different camera, it's the same camera, but you're just tapping that button and then flipping the phone. It's kinda of neat, but uh, that's the camera, that's the Axon M, it'll be available in the US exclusively on AT&T and pricing has just been announced, but we don't have that information just quite yet. But uh, thanks for watching.